there's an old graphical user interface called Gem, and you may have used it as ViewMax if you ran DRDOS. And we include a version of that with FreeDOS 1.3 called Open Gems, an open source version, and you can install it from the bonus CD. And that's where I've installed this version of Open Gem on FreeDOS 1.3. And if I go in, into that Open Gem directory and I do a directory, you can see that uh, I've got you know, a certain number of files, some directories. Uh, I've got uh, the gem.bat, which will actually launch the gem desktop. But if I do that, you can see that things quickly become actually broken. So it looks okay, I guess, at first glance, right? You, you get the desktop, you get the mouse, you get the icons and the menu bar at the top. But as soon as you really try to do anything, uh, yeah, things really do become broken. So if I go over here under the desktop and I select the calculator, you can see that uh, the calculator app launches and I have the buttons and I can certainly do things, but there's this little notch taken out on the title bar up here. And that is a phantom button. A button is supposed to appear there, but it's just not appearing on the desktop. And if you click on that phantom button, it closes the app. That's the icon that'll close the app. Uh, you can go into the uh, uh, file manager and things look even worse. Uh, I can see the icons, but I'm not getting a scroll bar on the right hand side, which is what should be there. And again, there's sort of a missing sort of mystery icon over here that is supposed to close the window. And if I click in that space, it definitely goes away. So yeah, as you can see, things are broken in open gem, but that's okay. We can actually make it work. So let's go ahead and exit open gem. And we'll hit two to return to DOS. And what we want to do now is substitute a drive letter for the path because that directory open gem where things get installed, all of that stuff is supposed to be moved up one directory and all that's supposed to appear at the root directory. And so, yeah, the solution to that is to substitute a drive letter, which we'll call O to point to that C colon open gem directory. And you can do that with a FreeDOS command called SW substitute, SW subst. And if you just run it as is with no arguments, you'll see a list of the drives that are on my system. And I want to do uh, SW subst with the O drive pointing to C colon backslash open gem. And now if I do SW subst, uh, you can see I now have an O drive that is sitting out there as substituted on the C colon open gem directory. So let's go to the O drive. And there it is. It's all sitting there at the root of the O drive. And now if I run gem, you can see now things look much different. Uh, I have color on my desktop and actually things do work correctly. So if I go over here up onto the desktop and I run the calculator, you can see now what the calculator is supposed to look like, right? So I've got uh, a different color on the title bar. Uh, the buttons are still there and I can certainly do stuff there, but uh, yeah, now I've got this icon that allows me to close the window. So that's great. Now we know that things are working well. And if I go into the hard drive and so I can go into the file manager, let's open up the O drive. This was here. Uh, you can see that now I've got uh, my file manager and things are looking much different. I've got scroll bars. Uh, I've got a button up here, which will maximize the window. I have a button over here that will allow me to uh, resize the window. And of course I've got a, uh, an icon up here that'll close the window, but I can actually go into gem apps now and actually look at some of the things that are included here. One of which is the 2048 app. So if you want to, you know, really make sure that things are working, let's go ahead and just run an app. So I'm going to run the 2048 just by double clicking it. And that launches the 2048 app. Uh, and if you're familiar with 2048, uh, you just use the arrow keys and that moves these uh, number boxes which are randomly placed uh, all around. So sort of basically by gravity, you might imagine sort of gravity. And so if I go uh, using right, you can see everything goes off to the right. Uh, and if I go up, it'll combine those two fours and that'll turn into an eight. There we go. And now I've got a two and a two horizontally and I can just go right and that'll combine them into a four. And then I've got uh, some other fours there. So if I go down, I can put them on the bottom and I can go left and I can combine those to an eight. And I can go down again to combine the two eights to a 16. 
And as you can see, this is how you're going to play uh, 2048. But uh, my point here in this video is not to run 2048. It's really just to show you that things are working. So let's go ahead and just close the app. Uh, here we are back on the desktop. Uh, and yeah, so that's how you can run OpenGem. And so if you're trying to run OpenGem by itself and it's not working, uh, try the trick of uh, running these SW subst, and that will allow you to uh, map the drive to o, o drive. And this is how I've done it. Uh, you could really map it to any drive letter that you like. Uh, just make sure you're using the uh, OpenGem directory. We'll exit back to DOS. And there's my SW subst command. Again, we can see everything. And then to undo or delete that uh, substitution, we can do SW subst slash D to delete the O colon drive and then SW subst again. And you can see that it's gone. So that is how you can get OpenGem working on FreeDOS. So if you see that it's broken, now you know how to do it. So what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. So thank you very much. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level. And I want to thank you especially here for that. So thank you again. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.